We're also going to be working on some other things. Let us know if you are uh, interested in seeing some abstract art stuff. You know, fabrication, but without any wheels. Uh, my client, my mentor, Victor, he's like, Ian, you always got to remember, you're first an artist, first and foremost. This car thing, you know, you've been riding it for 25 years, but I know in your soul, you want to do something else. So maybe you're getting a little burnt on this TV film schedule. Maybe you need a little outlet. I don't know. That's what he's telling me. But I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you about something. Think about public art installation. There's a lot of money in that. You know, you go to the park, you see this weird shape. It's just a thing, right? It's not organic. It's a man-made thing to look at. So I was thinking, well, like yard art for sure, right? He's like, no, but public art is big bucks. If you get the commission, like all you have to do is make a few examples of your ideas. And it could just be anything. It'd be abstract. You'll see these giant things like at a you know, a baseball stadium or a football stadium or a public park. It's just like a big metal bar that's balanced or something. And it's mm -hmm. like, he's like, it doesn't even have to be good. Just do something. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't have to be good. Well, sign me up. Well, but wasn't that part of how you and Victor met one another? Is that you had some crazy sculptures outside of your shop or something like that? Well, uh, actually, it was Moldy Marvin from the Rat Fink Party, the Rat Fink Extravaganza. Uh -huh. He said he had cu Culture Shock Gallery <laughs> and, like, awesome. store. He had, like, yeah, it was, like, art. It was paintings. It was custom culture stuff. And uh, he was like, dude, like, I want to sell some cool uh, lawn furniture. You know, if you can come up with any kind of tables, chairs, etc. So... I made these pretty wild, like, scrolly rebar chairs that were woven metal straps. I made a few sets of, like, a lounger, an upright one, a table. I'll look for some photos. They might exist. We could put them in here. But uh, what Victor also said was, you know, just do something as an example, and people can commission you. And it could be just, like, you know, a stress release. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of it. I haven't done anything like this except for Victor after that custom culture uh, or custom, you know. <laughs> I haven't done anything like this since Victor commissioned a bunch of pieces uh, for his nursery. Mm -hmm. If you're on the 210 freeway going through the Silmar area mm -hmm. near the uh, Polk Street exit, you'll see all the trees, etc., up on the side of the hill there. And one of the cars, the boonie bug is up there. It is. <laughs> and then this big, it's... 14 foot tall. It's almost like a gazebo thing. It's got like a big net and the plants hang off of it and it's really organic looking. Bunch of tables, seating arrangements, stuff like that. So uh, he said, uh, we're going to restore that and you could feature it on a video as well. So I thought, well, shoot, I'm just going to start making something here. I've got this huge piece of material out in the back <laughs> that was given to me. It's Six inch by twelve inch <laughs> thick wall, forty foot tube. Our good I mean, friend came over and tackled it. My friend Jeff has helped me do the cutting because I'm always working on these cars, and he's like, "Yeah, dude, I'll just help you out." So we made uh, three pieces so far, and they're going to be all welded together into a, a different arrangement. But I'll talk a little bit about how we're going about this. Uh, Can I, uh, I want to say something really quick. Yeah. Does this mean that I'm going to get my wrought iron? furniture that I want for the side of the house. That's what I'm talking about. So exactly. I, we have a wind problem here. Yes. And so you need multiple seating areas. And you know, I've been talking about that for a while. So if you guys would like to see something like that, maybe even Ian teaching me how to maybe do a little bit of welding, some, soldering. Some blacksmithing as far yeah, as heating and forming. I would be down for, for that because I really want to have some nice wrought iron furniture here. And That'd be so cool. Yeah, if you want to see that stuff, I, I know a guy with some tools. Let us know in the comments if you want to see something like that. We tackle like a, a household ranchy project like that together. Well, and something then... like even Jeff, uh, who's helping us cut this, mm -hmm. uh, he and I were at some estate sale, and he bought the back end of a car the, from the back door's rear. So he had the fenders and the mm -hmm. trunk, and he made a cool bench out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very automotive, but like anybody could do this kind of stuff. And right. It would be fun to just... Yeah. So let us know in the comments if you guys want to see something like that. 
that's a little uh, set aside because Ian does need an outlet sometimes besides just cars. And uh, to keep him going on this channel, <laughs> we have to uh, let him have his creative vision and his artistic outlets. So. Yes, I'm an artist. <laughs> I need to have my vision. That's all I wanted to say. Express. So let's talk about this. Rosen. Got some heavy metal right here. This is uh, on the Facebook and Insta. I took this square piece and posted it up here just as a experiment. That's not going to be the final arrangement. But what we've done, I'm going to ha have Jeff cut a whole bunch more pieces like this at different rates of uh, angles, etc. So, yeah, these are pretty big. You see, it's about a little over knee high, and this thing's heavy. I can't lift it. <laughs> We got going to make two about that angle, right angle, and we're going to make a number of these that are tapered. This is a lot of cutting with a grinding disc. We're not using a plasma cutter because a lot of people have mentioned things about you should use this tool or that tool. And the true story is the amperage service to the house and the workshop can't support a lot of equipment. Unfortunately, it's so, true. My it's welder, simple, <laughs> when my air compressor's on, I don't really weld. It's like that. We're always balancing. Like if we got machines running and the well pump turns on, psh, you could blow a fuse, circuit, yeah, whatever. We live a very balanced, energetic life. Yeah, we're always thinking. So just because you see us going about things in a certain way that seems pretty primitive is because primitive is where we live. Yes, There's a song. Sir. Name oh, a song. Is that a song? Yeah, <laughs> I'll, Comment ooh, I'm going to put you know that on song. my DJ, yeah. <laughs> Good band. I just got a cramp. <laughs> ah. Oh, is that a hint? I see where you went there. Um, check this out. Yeah, that's a pretty big square shape. I love the dimensions because the chunk factor, right? Yeah. So, you know, I'm thinking proportions, right? So it's like, whoa, it's 12 inches, and there's only a 6-inch box here, but it's got depth. It's just like, Bleh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's got some flavor. This is part of the stuff that I explored in my younger years, art and proportion, etc. I did a bunch of bronze casting and some fabrication of, of art pieces at an Argos foundry in New York. And uh, I learned so much there and really gave me a taste for how legitimate uh, uh, museum piece installations would be prepared. And uh, I've worked with the artists, and they're like, no, it's got to have feeling. It's got to have this kind of weight and balance, et cetera. And mm -hmm. about a year and a half, two years I worked there, and poof, I mean, like, mind-blowing. So, yeah, that's uh, – if you want to explore this with me, I'm building it either way. <laughs> so right. if you want to see us film it, let's try it out. Unless, I'm yeah. thinking it's going to be bigger than life size, you know, That's so cool. it's going to be an arrangement. Yeah, and let us know about the lawn furniture, too, so we can add that to our storyboard, our idea board. So, uh, yeah, if you like what you're seeing, join us next time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs>